Hi, I'm Game Guy. It's time for more Let's Play Pikmin 2. I think it's finally time we go to the Wistful Wild. Oh yes, I know at least one person's been looking forward to this. You know who you are. Because I've already forgotten. I'm sorry! Ah, uh, nice overview of this terrible, terrible place. We'll be here for quite a while. More than any other place, and it has, like, only five treasures above ground. I mean, what's up with that? Anyway, remember last time when we got a whole bunch of purple Pikmin? Well, guess what we're doing? We need exactly 100 purple Pikmin. What kind of crazy thing could we possibly need 100 purple Pikmin for? Well, you are about to find out. I certainly hope you have all your Pikmin all flowered up, because if you don't, that's actually going to be quite a problem here. First up, let's get rid of these jerks, because they're jerks. Now, what I recommend here... There's actually some rocks there. This thing... Oh my goodness, I hear what I... Do I... Ah! Gatling Groink! Yeah, <laughs> I wasn't expecting you already. What the heck, man? What the heck? Alright, well, you know what? Just swarm it. Whatever. I was not expecting you so quickly. What the heck, man? Okay, well, that guy wanders around and whatnot. And, yeah, whatever. What was I talking about? You need to be flowered up, but this thing takes a thousand Pikmin, or, you know, 100 purple Pikmin. I highly recommend using a spicy spray real quick before sending all your Pikmin on this thing. Because that'll make them go a little faster, at least. Because this is going to take quite a while to get there. At least I think the spicy spray makes them go faster. It wouldn't make much sense if it didn't. In the meantime, I wonder what me and Mr. President can do all by ourselves. Probably not much. But we can certainly try. Ah, uh, we can kill Mr. Bouldergeist. Ha 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 ha. You're losing, mister. It's two against one. And it's totally fair. Because you're such a loser. You loser. How dare you be a loser. Holy boulders. Oh, the spicy spray ran out. Oh, well. Mr. President, break the eggs. Let's break the eggs. Oh, crap, my tights. Wah! Oh, well, I don't really care. Anyway, we can kill these things. It's like we might as well accomplish something while we wait for the Pikmin to... Ow! It hurts slightly. Wait for the Pikmin to, you know, finish carrying that thing, because that's going to take quite a while. The purple Pikmin are slow, and that thing is atrociously heavy, obviously. This is why you shouldn't lift dumbbells, kids. It's too risky. It's just friggin' too risky, man. Too risky. Too risky! It's risky and a half! Plus some. Are you dead yet? Thank you for dying. Anything else we can kill? Ooh, we can kill a frog. Hey there, frog! Jerk! Frog! I'll kill you! With my fists of fear- Ow. Ow. That hurt like a lot, maybe. Ow. Stop hurting me, man! Stop it! Ow. Don't make me call my blue Pikmin and, like, kill you to death. Okay, we use... Why does that even hurt you, anyway? It's like, he's just jumping upward. I mean, I understand getting squashed by him, but seriously, this is like... Ah. Ah, stop killing, Mr. President. I want to kill you, not you kill me. You're, like, defying the laws of living. I mean, seriously, you're supposed to, you know, die like a good little boy. You know, because dead enemies are happy enemies and stuff. Yeah. Actually, I'm kind of glad I got rid of that groink when I did. I wasn't expecting it to, like, run straight towards the landing site, but it can do that. That's the problem. You want to kill that thing, like, right away. Ow, oh, the pain. Are you, like, dead almost? I know you are. Oh, stop trying to crush me, man. I'm punching you to death. Haha, -ha, you have died. Oh, well, it's about time, you slow pokes. Jeez. All right, but the crazy thing is, this is worth 3,000 Pocos. Doomsday apparatus. Oh, well, that's kind of hilarious. Except we're way over here now, so, yeah. I don't know why that guy just died right now instead of earlier, but whatever. Anyway, now that we've gotten that treasure out of the way, we can start doing what we really need to be doing here. We'll put you guys back. I don't really need any purple Pikmin anymore at the moment. Alright. Now, I believe we are in need of some blue Pikmin. And we are going to want some white Pikmin. 
Now, Ulmer, you can take all the blue Pikmin, even though this is totally not color-coded at all. And, uh, Mr. President, you can take the white Pikmin, which we will need to break down that wall eventually. Okie dokie then. Okie dokie then. So, let us go this way with our stuff. Actually, what I should do is I should take the blues with me first, because they're going to need to do things first. Uh, but let's get rid of Mr. Snitchbug, huh? Stupid little snitchy buggy guy of death and destruction and, like, total deaditude. Give me back all my Pikmin. So anyway, we need to go over here, cross that watery gap of wateriness. It looks like we're gonna have to kill a burrow knit while we're at it. But that's okay, burrow knits die fairly easily, like always. I said burrow knits die fairly easy, like always. What part of this do you not understand? In fact, we'll kill Mr. Flowhog here, because he is so rude. Hey! Why are you being so rude, man? Why? Now you're setting my Pikmin on fire? That's just rude. That's rude! Set your own self on fire, man! Set your own self on fire! Anyway, while they're breaking that down, the white Pikmin can do us a favor and start collecting some spoils, I suppose. Just everybody get back into my little group so we can go and, you know, break down that wall. Hooray, the bridge is done! Just in time! That actually was kind of perfectly timed. So, we will now venture over here. In the meantime, though, actually, the blue Pikmin can be accomplishing something else. Since we're gonna have to wait for this wall to be done anyway. Over here is this wall, and it will be broken down with relative ease. But in the meantime, we've got some nectar over here we might as well use. Because I mean, we've got a few Pikmin that have lost their, their little flowerness, and that's not very cool. I'm not going to lie. And there I go saying I'm not going to lie again. What the heck, man? What the heck? Anyway, over here, we've got another wall that we could break down. And a cromad of stupidness. Hey there, Cromad, what's up? Bye there, Cromad, you're going to die. Just thought I'd let you know that. Hope you don't mind! So, now we can sick the Pikmin on this wall. As you can see over there, it looks like we'll get some berries! Ooh, berries! So, I just hope Mr. Witherly Flowhog doesn't venture over here to, you know, attack my Pikmin while they're getting rid of this wall for me. Now, what you actually could do is, if the groink is still around, you could have it, uh, you know, kill the gas generators for you, because I think it can do that. But, um, yeah. You could try that if you want. In the meantime, I think maybe uh, this wall will be done? Is the wall done? Is it done now? Is it done? Come on, guys. I know you can do it. Oh, well, sure, they do it just as I switch. Because I want to make sure Mr. Witherly Flowhog doesn't get attracted to my buddies. But we've got this little rock over here that we can break. And you know what happens when we break rocks? Oh, yes, you do. I fail to see how Mr. Flyery Flowhog is standing in the water, breathing fire in the water. But, okay, I'll buy it. <laughs> I'm actually not going to bother with him, because I can't continue on that way anyway. At least not yet. In the meantime, we need to make sure that wall gets all broken down and stuff. Uh, there's really not much to do here other than the wall, and well, great. He's gonna be all annoying now and blowing all of my Pikmin all over the place. So now all my white Pikmin have absolutely no flowers. Great, Mr. Witherly Flowhog. Great. I mean, they can still break down this wall just the same, but still, man. Gonna make it slower? Jerk. I knew that was gonna happen, too. Better save that nectar. Yeah. Anyway, what else can we do? I don't know how much else... We, what else we can really do. You missed the nectar, you idiot. What the heck? It's like, I don't know what else we can really do here. I mean, there's a few things. I suppose I can grab some yellow Pikmin. Because there is an electrified wall we can take care of. Because it, it's like all electrificated and whatnot. So, you know, we gotta take care of it. 
Oh, it sounds like the wall's down. Let's go save our white Pikmin from another demise of their leaves. Well, actually, you know what? We just, you know, take care of this, but okay. It's like, no, I don't want to look at the hole. Are you, are you serious now? Are you serious? I'm not even going in this hole yet. Perhaps you will find Louie here. Yep, my CPU's on edge. Ludicrous dangers await. Oh, great. Ludicrously foreboding, eh? Dare you enter? Courage is the one true treasure. Yeah, I, uh, I... Yeah, thanks a lot, Legend of Zelda. Anyway, we've got lots of nectar here that I just so quickly sucked right up without thinking about it. And actually, yeah, like I said, I'm not going in that hole just yet. That's like the last hole I'm going in, so... <laughs> um... Yeah, dang it. I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to, to uh, actually break down that electrified wall now. Um, I have less time than previously indicated, but I will give it a shot. A shot is what I will give it. As much as I'd love to, you know, mess around with these berries and whatnot, I don't really have that much time. So I'm just gonna try. Oh, hello, sheer bug things. Go away, mans. Go away. I do not need your brand of help. Okay, just don't. Furthermore, I don't need you to be setting my Pikmin on all wateriness. Okay, just get over here. Get over. No, stop. Stop it. Stop it. Break the wall. I don't know why there's one Pikmin like right on top of the wall, but okay. In the meantime, Mr. White Army Dude, we need to go back to the ship and prepare for the hole I actually intend to go into. Which is over here, because you've probably seen it already. It's that one right there. Now, if I remember correctly, we need every kind of Pikmin for every hole here, actually. So, <laughs> fortunately, I just hope I'll be able to get back to the hole in time. Alright, let's make a run for it, guys! No, seriously, I'm missing a bunch of Pikmin somewhere. Where are they? Oh, no, you guys. You guys. Don't go doing that now. All right. Okay, so... I do believe I will be able to make it. I hope. Let's go over here and give ourselves 15 yellow Pikmin. And then we make a run for it, right? How many Pikmin do I have and whatnot? It's not 15. What the heck is going on? What is going on? Wait, from all appearances, this is a particularly frightening crevice. Oh dear, he's using big words. This hole must be foreboding too. Okay, well, um, I don't have enough time to really run back here because I've got to get into this hole before I run out of time. So. Let's go down this hole, because that's what we do. We go down the hole. Yes, it's hole going down time. Cavern of Chaos. Oh yes, this place is very chaotic. Very chaotic. Extremely, excruciatingly chaotic. But I will see you in this chaotic hole of chaos next time. Bye. Today's creature of the day is the Gatling Groink. This oddly named enemy, oddly shaped enemy, and, well, it's just plain old odd. I mean, this... What the heck is this thing? It's got, like, a little shield mask thing, and it shoots little cannonballs? I... Ugh, I don't know. Either way, this guy is a massive threat. You want to get rid of him as soon as you see him, probably. Um, yeah, he... he you want to kill him really fast, and actually, once he's dead, he's going to try to reanimate himself, so you need to carry him back to the ship at all costs. There's apparently something about stunning him by throwing Pikmin on his backside. Like, I don't know if it means that those little things protruding out or his little fishtail thing, but apparently that stuns him. Really, I'm not entirely sure about that, so don't take my word for it. Honestly, I just prefer using a bitter spray and just, you know, getting rid of him all in one fell swoop. Yeah. Just take this guy carefully, I guess. <laughs>